Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about some very uncomfortable stuff and it's going to be a little a little bit cringy and it might be a little like but it has to do with poetry and when you should let your tykes experience different kinds of art is the best way I'll say this. So for all the hot moms out there and all the fucking sexy dads out there, let's fucking talk about this shit, okay? So this question comes from our very own Jessica. She says, okay, okay, I'm going to try to read it in like a sexy voice since this is like all about that. And I'm probably going to feel dirty about it as soon as I do it. So I'll probably cut this whole thing out. Okay, here's a burning question I've had. So, you know, I have two littles, nine and seven. In your opinion, how young is too young to be introduced to your poetry? <laughs> I know the whole parental discretion thing, but do you think your poetry would help move the discussion on things like sex, adulting, etc.? I desperately... Okay, I'm going to go back to the sexy voice now. I desperately wanted to buy your book. Poems about fucking. But wasn't sure if it was a book. I'd have to slip between the mattresses. LOL. Um, I never want to hide anything like sex from my kids. So I was just curious. What's your opinion on this from parent to parent? Okay, so... I feel totally silly reading that the way I read it, but um, it's it's an awkward kind of thing. Here's the deal about poems about fucking. Anyone out there who's read it, leave in the comments of this video if you think that book is something you need to hide between the mattresses. Because I wouldn't want my kid to read it, but at the same time, my kid wouldn't read anything I wrote anyway. Like, I'm like, oh, God. Dad makes movies, dad makes music, dad writes books. Ugh. Like that whole fucking thing, you know? So I've never had to really worry about that before. And if you have, if you're one of the people who got this book, Anxious Anxiety, uh, the chapbook Anxious Anxiety, I dedicated to my kid and said, I hope you never have to read this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I love my kid. I know my kid loves me, but I don't know. Like we never crossed that bridge of enjoying my art, I guess is the best way to put it. As far as my stuff, if I think my stuff is a good doorway for talking about sex and adulting and stuff like that, um, I don't know if good is the right answer, but it will definitely cause a conversation. And it's just, is that a conversation you want to have? You know what I'm saying? Because, I don't know, I feel like there's probably... 15 or 16 other conversations between never having a conversation and then the conversations that come from reading my poetry. So uh, let that be said what it is. But I do think uh, a lot of my stuff just about adulting and society, I think that's really heavy and good for anybody. Um, but the greater question here is, and especially with what the world has been doing or at least in america um has been doing when it comes to art and censorship when is it okay to talk to your kids about things the one thing that i will say is that i went through sex ed i want to say like sixth grade about so, like, either if you go to a middle school, it would be, like, your first year of middle school. If you go to a junior high, it would be your last year of elementary school kind of thing. Um, but I remember the girls had it when we were in fifth grade. Like, I remember we got an extra recess that week um, after lunch. Like, we got to stay out for an extra half hour. It was, it was the best. Um, and and there were no girls for the guys to try to act cool in front of so everybody got along it was it was quite amazing but yeah so they had it then we had it the next year and what i will say about having it that young is that 
I think it's really important for kids to understand what's happening and understand what consent is so that if anything creepy were to ever happen with anyone or a babysitter or an uncle or a grandpa or something fucking horrible like that or the neighbor, they would know that, oh, this is not okay. Like, I think that's where we fuck up as a society. Like, we want to shelter our kids so much that when bad things happen to our kids, our kids don't even realize that there was a way that that could have been prevented or there was a way where that could have been handled justly after the fact. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a big thing. So I am a proponent of kids knowing about that stuff as early as they can. But as far as having art be the thing that brings that conversation up, I think if it's done artfully, that would work. But I also think having those conversations with your kids is something that needs to be very cut and dry, like very open and not like what I would hate to have happen is if like somebody felt like they talked to their kids about the birds and the bees because they took them to an art gallery and um, had like kind of like a half foot in half foot out conversation about it and then they feel all good about it and then like three years later the kids asking questions about stuff I, I definitely if we're talking about my stuff I definitely think you should read it before and ask yourself like is this something I fucking want to like talk to my kids about because I don't know I think if the dialogue is opened there, like there has to be like immediate follow through with like why you're having this conversation with your kids. Don't have it be like how I remember um, my dad. Uh, I can't remember what it was. We we watched something that I should not have been watching. the The talk we had was, "Do you know what's going on there? Do you see what's happening? Do you understand what that is?" Okay. And that was the entire conversation. And I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Any conversation I had with my mom was putting a blanket over my head or me having to cover my eyes. So, I don't know. Um, I think it's good to have those open forms of communication. I don't know if this is helpful. Like, I feel like I, like, totally screwed the pooch on this one. Don't look that one up, kids. So, go get poems about fucking... All right, everybody, type hard, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.